What's so interesting to me is that in other states we hear all these concerns about hydraulic fracturing, air emissions, oil and gas development, and to me it's always surprising when they don't just come to folks like Oklahoma, when they don't come here to our state and see that we've been here since the 1915, 1920 era producing, and yet we're still relying on the air we breathe, we're relying on the water we drink, we're all living here. I mean, we are the lifeblood of the oil and gas industry. Even if you go to North Dakota, if you go to Pennsylvania, most of that is, is Oklahoma companies or, or, or it started with ideas from Oklahoma entrepreneurs. So if we were really uh, harming the groundwater, if we were really harming the air for which we breathe, uh, I don't think we would all be living right here in our backyards where our oil and gas wells are. So I think that's a, that's a very common, simplistic uh, aspect that's often lost in the oil and gas industry.